I recently worked out how to make my own gift stickers for Instagram, something I've always wanted to do but kept putting off and I finally got around to it and worked out how to do it. And so today I wanted to share with you the process and how I created them. So head to Giphy.com and then you'll click the login button up the top and create an account. Make sure that you use your business email because we're going to be applying for a brand account and one of the things that they look for is that you're using a business email. So don't use Gmail or Hotmail. Make sure that it's linked to your URL. Then you'll be taken to an account settings page where you can just fill in more of your details and press save. Now let's get into making your gifts. So I'm doing this in Procreate. You can do it in Photoshop, but I want to show you the whole process in Procreate because it's super easy in here. Now, what you need to do is create your illustration, but anything that you want to animate, you need to have on a new layer. So it's really important that anything that's going to be a moving part is a new layer. You may want to even expand and layer out things more to start with, and then you can start to merge things down. So what I've done is any object that is going to be animated, I've started off by creating a completely new layer. I've even separated the line work from the color work so I can put the colors under. Once all that's created, then I can start merging it together into each frame. Now, another thing is that because these are just really quick GIFs, you only want about three to five frames. So think about the movements in those sort of frame rate. So think, how can you change it up in about three to five different movements? So with the wheel moving, I just, you know, twisted the look of the wheel about five times. And then with the text here where I'm going over the text, I'm just creating it three times. So each time I'm creating a different variation. Now, overall, I've decided with this gift that it's going to be a five frame gift. So I'm going to create five different frames. So because I didn't want to be writing Millie five times over, I did it three times and then copy two of those frames over again to repeat. So if you want to make less work for yourself, there's certain frames that you know you can repeat again, you can do that. And then the more detailed stuff, like how I want to have the wheels looking like they're turning and also the pedal turning, I created five different layers for that with a different frame of movement. So as you can see here, this is how I'm creating the movement in the wheel. So each frame, I'm moving it slightly. So that middle bit, I'm just twisting it a little and then I'm redrawing the wheel again. Obviously, I'm tracing it so it's the same, but because I'm hand doing it, it's going to feel like it's moving a bit because the lines are going to be slightly off and slightly different. And then the spokes inside, I'm moving them over a little bit so that they feel like they're turning around. Obviously, we're not animating a movie. It doesn't have to be super accurate and you know perfect frames to make movement we're just trying to create that sense of movement so you just want each frame to be slightly different then as I said I created a new layer for the color underneath this is simply so it was easy for me to put the color under the line work if you want to you can just create the whole thing on one layer whatever works for you so really think about just putting lots of layers in the more layers you start with that's fine because we're going to merge it all together now, once you've got all your pieces together and you've got all the different parts of the illustration ready to go with all the different frames, then we can start the merge down process. So for this, as I said, I wanted five frames. So I want to merge everything down into just five layers. So each layer is going to be the next step of movement. So start merging layers down so that you've got each frame of movement. Once you've got all your frames together, then you're going to click the spanner icon and you're going to find the thing that says share. Now we want to share this as an animated GIF because we're going to create this as a GIF. So make sure you click animated GIF. Now you can choose the frame rate. So it shows you a little demo of how it looks. So you can start to play around with the frame rate so that you can get it the speed that you want. So look at it and, you know, think what looks best. Obviously, it's going to be different for every animation and depending on how many frames you created. Once you're happy with it, then export it. Now we're going to head back to Giphy. Now you press the upload button up the top and then click the browse files. Now, if you save this straight onto your iPad, you can upload it directly from your iPad into Giphy. So now that we're ready to upload it, you'll see what's something that says source URL and tags. So with source URL, what you want to be adding is your what you want to be adding here is your website. So add your website to the source URL and then in tags, think about what someone might be searching to find your GIF. To also make it easy to find your own stickers, add your business name as well as a tag. That way you can always search that name and you can find all of your stickers. Make sure that your sticker is set to public and then click upload to Giphy. Now to have a brand account, they ask you to have five. So we're going to have to create five of these before we can apply for a brand account. 
So another more simple animation you could do is just creating movement. So for this one, I created an illustration, then I copied the layer, and then I just used the rotation tool to create that movement. So I created three layers with different level of rotation. This is a really simple way to create movement. So once I've got those three layers and they're all completely visible, then again, I go back to the spanner icon and then I click share and then animated GIF. Then we play around with the frame rate. This one, you may want to slow down a bit more so it doesn't look like it's too crazy. So we make it nice and slow, test out. Once you're happy with it, then export. And finally, if you want to animate text and just create that wiggly feel, you basically just want to redraw the text three times over. So basically what you do is put the opacity down, retrace it and create three layers of the same thing. But because it's your hand drawing, it's going to be slightly different each time. So when you go into the animation menu, as you can see, it has this wiggly feeling. And that's just simply because you redrew it several times over. Now to apply for a brand account. So once you've got those five GIFs ready to go, now we need to apply for a brand account. So we go into the three dots at the top there, then look for the link that says support. So we're going to go into the support and then you'll find the apply for a brand or artist account and then you click on to apply for a brand channel as we see here it's saying that I don't have five this is because I tried to use another account to show you but once you click on it it will take you to an application form so you're simply going to fill in this form make sure that you use your business email that you, that you share a business social account and apply. So once you've got those GIFs uploaded and you've filled in the brand application, then you wait for the email to come. Once the email comes, then have a look at your account, but it probably won't be live yet. I found it took a few more hours, you know, probably about 12 more hours after the email for them to actually become searchable. So just keep an eye on it within the next day. Search it every now and then in Instagram or check your Giphy account and see if it's searchable. Once it's searchable, you can start using them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you have a go yourself because it's lots of fun. And don't forget that if you want to learn more about graphic design, creativity and branding, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.